Hello everyone, in today's tutorial, we're going to take a look at the new e-signature plugin for Acumatica Cloud ERP. With the new version of 2019 R2, uh, we have made some changes to e-signature plugin. After you install e-signature, you would get a new workspace. Um, if you notice, we have a new dashboard page uh, with all the KPIs uh, and generic inquiries built into the package. Uh, we also have a new e-signature settings page uh, with the new user interface. With the new version 2019 R2 and higher, uh, most customers are going to get this e-signature plugin package with these changes. Uh, if you notice right away, uh, we have the ability to accept signatures and also the new integration with the Topaz signature hardware device. Uh, we also have the new document policy and I'm going to talk a little bit about that. So hit save and then also if you see that new interface now we have the ability to accept signature on multiple screens and pages in Acumatica. The earlier version we were only able to accept sales orders or the shipment screen. Uh, in the new version now you can accept signatures on multiple screens. So we have close to six to seven pages uh, across Acumatica that you can accept signatures um, on opportunity screen, on a sales code, sales order screen sales invoice screens, service order, shipment, and the AR invoice and memo screen. So these different screens can be enabled. Um, reach out to us if you need more pages or screens to be exposed. Uh, and also if you wanna accept more than one sc different screen, then in terms of pricing, please do reach out to us uh, through our website, uh, info-sourcing.com, or you can send us an email or call us. So let us walk, walk you through the uh, features. So the first thing you're gonna do is, uh, let's say you wanna accept signature on a shipment screen. So you would choose from the drop down the shipment screen, uh, and then you'll, you'll select the status as to when you wanna accept the signature, right? Based on the Acumatica's workflow engine, uh, you might choose to accept it on a confirmed or on a completed status, or you can choose either of the statuses you would like to accept. Uh, now these statuses could be different if you go down to an opportunity, maybe an opportunity, you would like to accept the signature when you really win the opportunity. Um, so this is really based on your Acumatica's workflow. Uh, on a sales invoice, maybe you wanna accept it when it's open instead of closed or maybe vice versa. So you, you have the flexibility to decide when you wanna accept the signature um, you know, as soon as the document is, reaches its complete status or closed or open status. Um, so this is a huge beneficiary thing for, uh, for Acumatica users. Second, you can also see that uh, you can have these checkboxes which allow you to control how you want to show things. For instance, you want to preview the signature. After accepting the signature on the customer, maybe you want to show the preview of it so you can, if the customer is okay with the signature and you're okay with the signature. Um, so you can just enable the checkbox for doing that. Uh, on certain documents you want to accept multiple signatures then that's possible you can enable this feature accept multiple signatures and then f finally we have the ability to uh, show some reports so this e-signature plugin comes with predefined reports for all of the screens um, so some people chose to use our reports uh, some people like to modify their own existing custom report so you can enable these reports um, you know, on top of the reports that comes with Acumatica. Finally, you can decide whether to keep it active or inactive those screens. Um, so once you make those changes, then the capture signature button will show up on those screens. Uh, finally, the enable document policy is a new feature. Um, this is if in case you want to accept, um, let's say, uh, the signature and customer would like to read some terms and conditions of the delivery or the payment or any anything that you're doing then you can specify in the free text field here uh, any terms and conditions that you would, you would like to show it at the time of accepting the signature. Once you have configured this, um, let's go and test on the shipment screen. So again, I can see all the different screens we are accepting the signatures on. Um, in this demo, I'm gonna show you how to accept signature on the shipment screen. So let's assume that this shipment was done and the delivery guy you know, goes to drop off the goods um, and he's in front of the computer, uh, in front of the customer, right? And he would access the shipment and hit capture signature. So the signature page comes up 
and you can pr print your name uh, you know you can use your touch screen or the mouse um, to specify uh, your signature um, if there's any document policy or specified then they will show up here if not um, you can disable that and hit save signature in this case I have enabled the preview option so after it accepts the signature and uploads the file to Dactomatic Cloud ERP you can see the preview of it hit close uh, the page gets refreshed and you will see in the file section there are two files uh, I already signed once and now I signed the second time so uh, you can definitely see that the files are uploaded uh, the next thing to do is you can actually access the predefined reports uh, click on the packaging list with capture signature uh, it shows you the you know first page with line items and the second page shows you the multiple signatures that I have accepted here all right so if you go down to the dashboard now uh, to the e-signature dashboard you will see that um, I might have one more count here on the number of signatures that I've accepted on the shipment um, so you can quickly see that um, the number of documents that you want to accept signatures and if I click on it uh, it will go to the generic inquiry showing you all the signatures that you have accepted um, for the documents that, that need to be signed on uh, you can also use this generic inquiries and expand this um, maybe you want to show on the side panel the shipment screen itself uh, or maybe you want to look at the uh, Im image or the file that was recently uploaded so in this case I want to click on um, 23 then I can see that this was actually signed by me um, and then you can take a look at the image itself so this image gets pulled into all your reports so there you have it um, the latest version of e-signature plugin for 2019 R2 and higher. Um, if you have any questions, please do email us. Thank you.